वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु आवो संत मिलो मेरे भाई मिल हर हर कथा करो हर हर नाम बोहित कर जुग खेवट गुर शब्द तरो दुदे आगे अरदास हमारी जियो पिंड सब तेरा कहो नानक सब तेरी वड्याई कोई ना हो ना जाने मेरा कोई ना हो ना जाने मेरा सासंग जी रल मिल के कज कज की फते पिलाओ जी वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फते सासंग जी with the committee's permission and with the uh, sangat's permission we're going to speak in english ji maharaj ji kripa dena we've got to the 16th body of sri japji sahib now we've gone through so far guru sahib's pehli panch padiyan then we looked at the two rules that we should always try to focus upon karm our own actions and also to wish for nadr kripa from wahi guru and then maharaj talked about the fall of sunya and then manna now maharaj comes to the body after that now we know in this one is panch and we'll talk about this in a little while but there's a little shabad that maharaj gives in gurbani guru sahib says jin shabad guru sun manneya tin man te aaya har soye so the person who listens to shabad guru listens and then man accepts and walks upon that tin man te aaya har soye that person meditates upon wahi guru the next part andil bhakti ratya man tan nirmal hoye so that person when they start acting and living that hukum living the guru guru's bachan they start meditating upon wahi guru they start becoming purified from inside nirmal कूड़ा रंग को संभ का बिनिस चाहे दुख रोए महाराज लुक दिस वर्ल्ड दिस वर्ल्ड इज कूड़ा एंड इट्स जस्ट लाइक इफ यू हैव डाई डाई दैट वॉश इज ऑफ वेरी इजिली फुट इन मोर्थ गेट्स डाई टेक इट आउट वॉश इट ऑफ इज गॉन महाराज द अर्थ इज लाइक दैट माया इज लाइक दैट इज कूड़ा रंग इट वॉ वॉश ऑफ वेरी क्विकली सुन इज वी पास द वे इट इज अ फेस there's not and all the memory that we had of this world goes but you will cry binis jaye dukh roye will cry in the pain thinking oh no everything i valued is gone then maran says ki jis andar naam pragas hai oh sada sada thir hoye jede andar naam hai ga who's got that wahi guru's name shining inside who's listened and followed guru's hukum and has become pure inside and naam has come to sit inside them that person is forever steady where they are everybody else cries basically maharaj is telling this then maharaj says ki eho janam padharat paaye ke you've already achieved this janam padharat people say i'm not lucky enough maharaj says you're already lucky you already got the human birth people don't think you're not lucky you're doubly lucky your human life is beautiful you got this chance and you're sitting in tangunon devi's own court kaljug mein the avatar of kaljug is come here and we're sitting in maharaj's own azuri har naam na chete live life maharaj says even if you had this beautiful human life but you didn't remember hari da naam you didn't remember chetani kita you didn't get in love and maharaj says look pak kisse kisi hai rehna nahi they're going to grab you and they're going to take you out of this world it's going to go away from under you mara says agge thor na pai and you will not have a place to sit ahead so there's a bit of a stick here mai mara says ki mar dan marna mola marna pi kartaro danna 
be scared, we're going to die. Maharaj, the truth Maharaj gives, you're, you're going to pass away, let's make this human life fruitful. And then Maharaj says, Oh, ve, oh hi vela hat na aave, ant gya pachtaye, jis nadar kare so ubre, har se ti livlai. But this time is going to pass away. It's going to go hatna avi. It's a very important time we have here upon the earth with our human life to listen and then man. And this body that we're going to go into now is a bit of a summary on what's happened with sunya and then manya. The, the level that we get to, Mana says, Se ubare har se ti live like those people fall in love with Wahiguru and they are saved. And also you can understand that we've talked now about Guru's Hukam, Sunya of Guru's Hukam, of Guru Gurbani, Manya of Guru's Hukam and Gurbani. But there's also a question that sometimes comes up, ki, what about why Guru's Hukam? I've accepted Guru's Hukam, I'm following it, but things are still going to happen that you didn't expect. It's not going to be all rosy. And we've seen even this week, the people in the Gurdwara, they just do a current part, they matha take and they got shot. And they died in a Gurdwana. So we think if you do Sikhi, you're going to have a perfect life. However, what do we do when somebody gets killed in the Gurdwara when they're listening to part? And that's why Guru's Hukam. So there's Guru's Hukam which we have to follow, but there's also why Guru's Hukam that's going on anyway, all around us. And in this body, it talks a little bit about now why Guru's Hukam as well. And you can see that the next four bodies of Japji Sahib. 16, 17, 18, and 19, at the end of them, there's always one thing. Sai Palikar Tusada Salamat Nirankar. And we'll talk about that later on. A lot of this is about the hukum of Wahiguru. It's letting us understand that not only do we have to follow as Guru's hukum, we also have to accept Wahiguru's hukum. And it will come up in this body. So, Guruji starts off within this body. Ki Panch Parvan, Panch Pardhan, Panche Pavah, Dargehman, Panche Sohoh, Darajan, Panchaka Gur, Ek Tehan. So there's five different states given of these Panch. Now, Panch can mean those that are the supreme, those chosen ones that actually live this Hukam. They listen to Guru's Hukam. Sunuke Manya. Those people that have that love for Wahiguru and they started to, as I said, Maharaj is saying in the Gurbhai, they started to wash themselves inside. Those people, Maharaj is giving, explaining their situation in the first five lines. Maharaj says, Ki, Those people who do this, they are Parvan. Those Panch are Parvan. Parvan means that they are accepted in Wahiguru's court. So when they go there, it's, imagine the door is there and there's a, there's a guy by the door. And he's saying, you can't come in, you can't come in, you can come in. They've been accepted. They've been accepted. And we can understand that Maharaj has come to make our human life acceptable to Wahiguru. That we get in. That's Guru's job. Give us the mat that we can actually make this human life suffer and we can become Parvan in that court. And there's lines in Gurbani that says, Hukam maniye hove parvan tha khasme ka mehal paisi. That if we accept Guru's hukam and we live his hukam and we man it, then we become parvan and we get into that court and we become parvan there. Jamana says ki panch pardhan. Now pardhan, obviously we all know in the Gurdwara, they've all got pardhans nowadays, yes. And the word pardhan comes from the leader, the agu, the person at the front. They're respected people, they're naturally at the front. Mara says those people that are living this hukam, Sunakya Manakya, they become Pardhan. In fact, if you look in our Pant, the people that Sunakya Manesige, we made them the Pardhans as well. We put them at the front. There was always a natural selection. Even the Pant Shyari, when we look at someone like um, Sardar Kapoor Singh, who became Nawab Kapoor Singh, he was given Nawabi. But the Panth chose him, said, you will be the Pardhan of the Panth. And he said, only if I'm allowed to keep up my seva of washing the Kodi and clean the Kodi of the Sangat and of the Guru. He said, that if I, I can keep my seva, 
Alvi the Pradhan, he didn't want to have Pradhan Ghee and he said that the Panch Pyare, the Panch Pyare have to accept that me as their servants, they have to give me the Wabbi, not the Mughal king. And Baba Deep Singh was one of those Panch that gave him the Wabbi and they accepted him as being the Pradhan of the Panth. Now, good, there's a lot of lines in Gurbani that talk about this next bit. Panche Paavahe Dargehe Maan that those people who follow, listen and earn, they also get respect in God's court. When they go into that dargah, dargah of the Creator, they get respect. Now Gurbani talks about this a lot. And after the two tuks I found, they're very interesting because this week we've been thinking about what happened in America quite a lot. It's been all over Facebook, all over the Sikh channels, people worrying. And also there's been a lot of interest in our punt. Now this is an interesting line, Mara says, Gurpar Sadi Jane Mehman Takish Darge Paveman. Mana says, Gurpar Sadi, by Guru's grace, you know yourself to be a Mehman, a guest. That this life is just like a, you know, like you come to Saprone de Kar. You just come to someone's house for a visit. You don't just put your feet up, put the TV on, and think you're going to sleep the night. You think, I'm going to go home back to my own house at the end of this night. So you live like a guest, you don't live like a resident. Mara says, Gurupar Saadi Jane Mehman Taakich Darge Paavehman We know ourselves the guest. Another line, Mara, same thing. Asa Mansa Jale Tu Hoi Reho Mehman Burn your desires. Asa Mansa. Burn them. Oh you, burn them. Hoi Reho Mehman Live like a guest. And then, Satgur Ke Paane Pi Chal Leh Live with the Guru's hukam and then you will get respect in that God's court. So actually Guru is telling us again and again that our way of living, sorry, our way of living should be like a guest. We shouldn't take this world or this life too seriously. Treat it like a guest. When you go to someone's house, you don't just, you don't just have a tantrum, throw stuff around. You treat it with respect. We treat your family with respect. We look after people around us, we live in the world, we earn, we do all these things. But one thing we don't do is get too comfortable and forget the Wahiguru. Namana says ki, marna mola marna pi kartaro darna. Just remember that we are going to pass away and this life is just a phase. It's a phase to something greater. So that if we live it, we'll earn that greatness. Darge Pave Man will earn the respect. When we leave here, we won't go there like with our face blackened. Some people go with their face face blackened in the pins in Punjab in the old days. When someone did something wrong and they wanted to disrespect them, they used to put them on a on a, a kutcha, uh, you know, a, a donkey, and put boot polish and stuff all over their face, put a jute da har around their neck like they want something, you know, like a har full of shoes, and they should parade them to the town. And Guru is giving us that idea that don't do, don't become that. Get respect in that thro throne of Wai Guru. Have some respect. How through Nam. And in fact, in our Sikhi, if you look at our Pant, we respect those people that actually lived Sikhi above and beyond the minimum. It wasn't. We didn't respect the Banda, the, the minimum. The minimum person. Okay, maybe he got through, but he didn't get respect. And look at a couple of lines we can think about. Look at Pai Taru Singh. Pai Taru Singh, he didn't just say, okay, cut my head off. He said, no, scalp me. Don't cut my hair. He went to the extent, not just of losing his head, but he went to the extent of having himself scalped first before dying. We look at, today I was reading a story of um, Tan Tan Pai Mani Singh. Pai Mani Singh, it starts to get chopped here at the wrist. And he said, no. Start there. And the bichara, the guy who was going to chop him, Anuduk Pogya. He goes, Who am I killing? I'm killing myself actually. I'm killing this guy. He's already free. I'll be killing myself. Because he's chopping him here, not here. Pai Mani Singh had won that battle already before the guy had even started. We look at Pai Kanayaji. Pai Kanayaji, he doesn't think about just serving the minimum of the Sangat, of the people that are six. He thinks to serve everybody and we respect him. 
And last time, when we did the bodies about Mania and Sonia, we were talking about ki, if we just say Wahidu's name once, what can happen to us? And we talked that story about um, Ajamal Papi. And Ajamal Papi, how he said Narayan Narayan to his son in the last moment, and he remembered Wahiguru, and he said Narayan to Wahiguru, and he got saved. And okay, by one, one time he said Wahiguru, he got saved. But did he, did he get that respect of the punch? He may have got in, but did he get that massive respect that we would get from following this Sikhi? And actually, uh, somebody said to me, that's not a good example to give. Why give that example? We will just wait till the last day to say why we want and think we're going to get in. And I thought to myself, but who do we respect in Sikhi? We don't respect the people that at the last moment said why Guru. You know, we have a lot of people in our panth that take Amrit, and it's good that they take Amrit, but they take it when they're near retirement, and they're actually scared he were going to pass away. You know, Amrit and Charles are full of 70, 80 year olds. But Sikhi is telling us, you take it when you're young, like Baba Zarawar Singh, Baba Fateh Singh, like Baba, you know, all the Charles Sahibs are they, Ajit Singh, Jujar Singh. They took it when they were young. And they gave their life when they were young, and we respect them people. And I thought to myself, Ki, there's a story actually of Bhagat Prahlad that can teach this. Prahlad Ji, he was doing a lot of bhakti. And his father, Harnaka, didn't want him to do bhakti of Vaheguru. He wanted him to do bhakti of him. Because he had a var, and he got this var that made him invincible to nearly everybody. Because of that boon that he got to be invincible, he got everybody to worship him as if he was a king, as if he was God. And he kept offering his son money to not do bhakti. He said to him, you know what, don't do bhakti, I'll give you half my kingdom. And you know what Prahlad thought to himself? He thought, by doing one week of bhakti, I got offered half a kingdom. Because what if I did a two weeks of bhakti, what would I get then? And he did some more. So the Sikhi is looking for that person that goes, goes above and beyond. We don't want the person who just does the minimum. Sikhi is hard. It's a tough, tough way. But we should not be trying to get away with the minimum. We should be trying to do the maximum. And the Maharaj tells us, So don't think in terms of minimum. Think in terms of what would I do if I, got, if I did Panjabaniya and Guru is blessing me, what if I did 10? If I did 10 Y Gurus or 10, one, 10 minutes of Simran, what would I get if I did 20? And just like we plant a tree in the ground, every extra tree you plant brings you back so many more fruit. So every extra little thing we do for our Guru gives us back so much more fruit we can't even imagine. Sometimes you see a fruit tree, it's got hundreds of fruit all over it, and you think, it started from one seed. That's like our Simran and our Kirp, our, our Rehat. When we do extra, we get extra, we get tons more for it. Maharaj then goes on to say, Ki, Panche Soho Hedar Rajan. That those Panch, those people, are actually beautiful in God's court. They're beautiful. Now, today's society is actually very, is very materialistic. So Guru is saying, on the one side we can take this to mean, that those people are respected in the in the courts of earthly kings. Soho hai dar rajan, earthly kings, and it's true. Even earthly kings nowadays respect spiritual people. You can see that now. Even if you're a poor person, but you are very holy, even the people who are kings will come and talk to you and ask for your advice. They don't want to offend the Creator. But another way to understand this is that. In Wahiguru's court, they'll be beautiful. If we look at our society, we, we stress beauty of the outward form. And Guru is telling us that those people that listen and follow Hukam, they're the beautiful ones. When they get into that court of Wahiguru, they'll be beautiful. Not the ones that, you know, spend an hour a day looking smart and, and spend, spend their whole day thinking, what do I look like? What do I look like? That kind of outward focus doesn't help. There's a couple of lines about this. Mahara says, Kappada roop sohavana, chhad dunia andar javana. Because the outside form might be beautiful, but actually you need to chhad dunia andar javana. Manda changa apana, apehi kita pavana. That good and bad, you will have to receive. If you don't do good, you will only 
receive the bad that you did. And the last line of this, Mara says, Ki Nanga dojak chalia ta dise khara daravana. That when you leave, if you don't take Naam with you, all this other stuff that you looked after, your body outside, it will leave you. You won't take it with you, then ta dise khara daravana. You look scary. You will have gone really scary. That your outward form might look beautiful now, but there you look like a demon. And people be scared of you. You don't let me go near this person. There's a bit of a real truth here, Maharaj is telling us. That what is true beauty? And Maharaj says in Gurbani, Suhapata Suhagani Jamanalehe Satana. That person is beautiful. That person is a beautiful bride. Jine man lehe satanam. Jine man leya satanam. They took Guru's hukam and they, they said, You're right, Guru. I accept. This is what would make me beautiful. And to those people that think, Oh, I couldn't cope with the panchka card, with the, with the outward form of the Sikh, think about this line. In that, in that darga of Tan Guru Gobi Singh Ji, Rajan Raj Devan Dev, on that court, he will love that good Sikh form. And it's a blessing actually, when you get into Sikhi, you love the Sikhi form. You don't think, oh, it's awkward. You think, wow, Guru Roop, beautiful. Then, we also say in Gurbani actually, beautiful line, Sajjan Sajja Padshah, Shir Sahan De Shaho, Jis Paas Baithiye, So Hiye, Sab Na Da and that line at the last bit was just past right here. Our Guru is so beautiful. He's our king. He's our Pasha. In that court of this king, who is beautiful? The ones that sit close to him. Just past right here. So here. So here again is beautiful. We sit next to his throne and we are beautiful. And then Sabna Dabesa. He's our support. He keeps us going. Next Mara says ki Panchaka Guru Ek Tiyan. So now the line at the end is giving us a lot of clue as to how to be that supreme person. Those people, Mara says, Sohahet, they got good ikhtiyan, that can mean that they have single-minded devotion towards their Guru. They don't look elsewhere. Their tiyan is only on their Guru. No matter what society is doing, they think about their Guru. When we think about this love, this Gunadev um, telling us, we've heard that. If you want to play the game of love, step onto my path with your head in your palm. Give me your head. But then, Mara says, the next line, Guruji goes on to say, Ki, Et marag pair tarije, sir dije kaana kiche. Don't listen to the world. Don't not listen to what the world tells you about what you should do. Listen to what your Guru tells you. Pancha ka gur ek tehan. They are focused only on their Guru. And we can look, actually, in Sikhi, that Paikanaya, who we respect, what did he do when he was asked, Ki Paikanaya, why are you giving water to the wounded? He said, Guruji, I only see your face. He only saw Guru's face, so he had to give water to his Guru. So the level that we want to achieve is that we only see our Guru. Whatever we do is our Guru. We just focus all the time, Guru Anga Sang, Anga Sang. Just focus. Guru is here. He's listening to me. He's watching me. Let me do something that makes him happy. And Pai Mati Das, you know, those three Sikhs that died in, with Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji in Delhi, Shaheed Hoi Sikhe, what were they doing? They were chopped like that, straight down. But they were looking at Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. Pancha Ka Guru Ek Tiyan. They were looking at the Guru and they could do Japji Sada part while they were being sewn in half. We can't even dream of having that happen to us and not screaming, they were doing Jabji Sada part. Because of Guru Prasad, Guru's grace. If we keep our mind on our Guru, that's the grace that we will get. Now another way to understand the punch, and we're going to go to Simran in a little while, is it can mean the five as well. Punch, the punch. So in Hindi they say punch. They don't say panj, they say punch. If you look at Sikhi, we've got a lot of things about five. In fact, if there was any number that was going to be a favorite number for a Sikh, it would be five. Everything is about five. We got Punjab, where Sikhi came up. Then we got Panj Piyare. Then we got the qualities of Panj Piyare, obviously we know. We should follow Daya, Taram, Himmat, Mokham and Sahib. Those qualities we have to follow. But then, look, we got Panj Kapad. 
We got panj baniya. Even if you can't come to Gurdwara, be clean, they say do panjishnan. Wash your hands, wash your feet, wash your face. Then also we've got this five, first five gurus who were the miri, who were doing just the piri, piri, and then second five gurus who were doing the miri and piri together. So they were showing us that joint path. Then we've got the panj mantar, the mool mantar, beej mantar, maha mantar, the gur mantar, and the mala mantar. If you don't know what they are, there's a video on YouTube, you can watch it, it goes into them in more detail. And then also, we've got inside the Mood Mantra itself, by Gudashi tells us, there's five names for Wahikuru given, of just five names inside the Mood Mantra. Karta Purak, Nirpo, Nirvan, Akal Murat, Ajuni Sepang. Those are the five names in just the Mood Mantra. And then even by, uh, by Gudashi says, Ki Ika Gursik, Do Saad Sangat, Panj Parameshwar. Where you have one Sikh, there's a good Sikh. Where you have two, you have Saad Sangat. Where you have five, you've got Wahikuru themselves. That's the power of five. And we know that when we take Amrit, it goes from the Panj Pyare, those five now, physically there, are representing the Khalsa Panth, and Guru is there physically. Physically, Guru, Guru Gobi Singh Ji is in that room right then, making Amrit to those five. And if we look at even our Rehat in Guru Gobi Singh Ji's Bani to Pai Nandal, he tells Ki, listen Pai Nandal, let me tell you the Rehat. And the five Rehats he gives in that Rehat Nama are two things in the morning, Amrit Vela, Utke, Naam Simran on Waheguru and Jab Ji Sahib and Jab Sahib after Ishnam. The two things, first thing in the morning. Then Mara says Ki, then come to my Darshan. That's the third Rehat he gives. Mara says the fourth one is to in the evening do Red Asad. And the fifth one is listen to Katha and Kirtan. So even those Red should be every day for us. There's no special days in Sikhi, as you find. There's no holy day. Every day is a holy day. Now, we'll just do, because in this line it says Pancha Ka Gur Ek Tiyan, we're just going to do a bit of similar because it's quite important for us to focus upon our Waheguru, upon our Guru as well. And before we do the simran, we'll just read that body we read at the end of, of Rehra Sahib Ki Antar Gur Aradhana Jehva Jap Gur Nao Netri Sat Gur Pekhna Sravni Surna Gur Nao Sat Gur Seti Ratya Dar Geh Paiye Thao Kahu Nanak Kirpa Kare Jishno Eh Vath De Jag Mein Utam Kaadi Hai those people who focus on their Guru, Guru ki murat man mein When they're doing simran, they think Guru Gobi Singh is watching me, and they do simran to him. They say, why Guru? To you as well.
we can see, we can say Sikhi is not a religion, it's a cult. It's a cult of Guru. It's basically a whole bunch of people that follow 10 people who were telling us away. That's all it is. Forget the religion part. Just think, I'm following my Guru. That's all it is. Me and my Guru, that's the key. And we talked about this in the first week. And we said about, what is a Sikh? A Sikh is somebody who loves their Guru more than they love themselves. That's a Sikh. That gives himself to his Guru says, I love you, not me. And Guru Ark Angad Dev Ji, when he heard that Guru Nanak Dev Ji had passed away, he was the Guru at that time when he heard, and he said, Ki, Jis pyare sionne, tis aage mar chaliye, trik jeevan sansar, taake paache jeevana. If I love that person so much, I wish I died before they died. Now I live without him alive, my life is cursed. What's the point of this life, he says. Trik jeevan sansar, taake paache jeevana. That's the love that they had for their Guru. And those punch in Sikhi, those supreme people, the Panj Pyare, they love Guru Gobind Singh Ji so much. They said, Maharaj, if you want a head, take my head. If no one else will give you their head, I'll give you my head. There's nothing else I might have, but I'll give you my head. <laughs> you know, we think, wait till you've got your Panj Bani account, wait till you've got your Rehat Pakka, wait till you've got your Kesh so it wait till you stop giving up me. Actually, who knows what those Panj Pyare were doing on that day. But they were prepared at that moment and then to give their head. And Amrit, nowadays, we make it more about, too much about the Rehat. The Rehat is very important. But the first part of Amrit is giving yourself to your Guru. It's not about the Panchkakars. The Panchkakars are just those things that were given to those people that prepared to die on that day. It could have been anything, but they were prepared to die on that day. Amrit is death. Amrit to be immortal, to go beyond death. You die and you come alive again and you carry on. You live under Sikhi. Panchanka Guru Ek Tiyan. Then Mara says, Je ko kahe kare vi char, karte ke karne nahi sumar. If somebody sat down and talked, Je ko kahe kare vi char, who thinks and thinks and thinks and talks and talks and talks and we get together like this and we talk. Mara says, Fir bhi karte ke karne nahi sumar. Even then, we will not be able to count. Sumar is to count. We will not be able to describe and give a full explanation of everything that Vaheguru is doing. Now, Karta Purk is part of the Mur Mantra as well. Karta Purk. So actually, Maharaj is telling us that Vaheguru is the doer. He's not just the creator, he's the doer. And we cannot understand the reasons. Karane. Why is he doing it? Kis Karan. We look at what happened in Wisconsin this week and we don't know why such a thing happened. But Guru tells us, Karte ke karne nahi sumar. We don't understand why this thing happened, but it happened. Now, Taol Taram Daya Ka Poot. Mara says now, this is a very important line for us because Taram is very key to us in Sikhi. In the old days, they used to think that under, underneath the earth, there was a bull, Taol. And it was holding up the earth with its horns. Obviously, they thought the earth was probably flat at that time. Because if it was round, and the people at the bottom, they'd be facing the bull, not looking up. The point was, they thought the bull was holding up the earth, as support of the earth. And Guru Sahib says, Tol Taram. That the bull is actually Taram, righteousness, duty, a moral law, a code that we all try to follow. That is the Taram. And it's Tol Taram Daya Ka Poot. And that Taram is born from compassion. If Tol had to have a dad or a mom, it would be compassion, Daya. And we see that the first Panch Pyara was Pai Daya Singh. And then came Pai Taram Singh. So first Daya went, and then seeing him, Pai Taram Singh said, Oh, I'm going to go next. So first Daya, then we get. From compassion, we get this form of justice, morality, of religion even. Even religion is called taram nowadays. But it means that you have a duty. A taram is not a belief system. A taram 
is a duty upon you as an individual to keep your tarum, to live alongside that line. So that's why the word religion is not a very good way to understand tarum. Tarum is more a duty that you have to follow, stay in your tarum, live in your rules that Guru Sahib has given. And actually, Guru Sahib says, I've come to establish tarum. Ham e kaj jagat mein ahe, tarum het gurde pathai. The Vahai Guru sent Guruji to establish tarum. So actually our whole Sikhi is made for Tarim. Sikhi's focus in the world to lift ourselves up spiritually, but our focus in the world is to give Tarim to the world. Amara says ki, Santa ka maruk Tarim ki pori, ko vatapa ki pai. That the road of the saints actually, Santa ka maruk, this road that we're walking on, many saints, there's 36 saints inside Guru Granth Sahib Ji themselves. All the, road, all the saints have walked this path. But the first step is Tarum. Tarum ki pori. Go vatapa ghi pai. Lucky people even get Tarum. And Guruji even says, Jahan tahan tum Tarum bitharo, dust dokhin pakar pacharo. He says, wherever, he, that Wahai Guru said to him, do this job. Guru Gopi Sindhi writes, do this. Go everywhere you go, set up Tarum. And the first Gurdwari, they weren't Gurdwari, they were called Taram Salas. That's another important point to remember. They were supposed to be for setting up Taram. And he goes, Dust, Dokin, Pakar Pacharu. Grab the Dust, those people who are tyrants, who are forcing other people to change their religion, who are forcing people to live in an awkward and ungodly manner, grab them and Pacharu. And the class has been given the Hukam, Deg, Deg, Fati. Deg means feed people Prashad, Langar, that's Deg. Feed people wherever you are. If they're hungry, we do that already. And the Gurdwara is always open to everybody. We don't tell them about it, that there's free food available. They don't know yet. When they start knowing, they'll start coming into Gurdwara more. But then, we have this Deg and then Teg. Why say Teg? Why put a Kirpan there? A Teg is a Kirpan. Why say Deg and Teg? Because actually, we have to establish justice. Justice is never going to happen magically. Somebody's going to have to give their life for justice. Always there's going to be a Qurbani for justice. And that is a good six job. The caste has been given that job to do that Qurbani, to give the sacrifice for other people. And when we look at Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji and what he did, Maharaj, how they gave their life, then we find from Guru Gobind Ji saying, Ki Taram Het Sakhajan Kiya Seez Diya Tarsari Nadiya. For the sake of Taram, he done this. Taram Het. So Guru Tegh Bhadraj has done the same job that Guru Gobi Singh Ji says that we have to do is establish this righteousness, this duty. And the only way to do that is to have compassion first. Before we have Taram, we have to have compassion. Because compassion will lead to Taram. So we can understand why Seva is so important. When we do save our people, we put compassion, we get grow compassion and we wash ourselves from seva. That's why seva simran, two are very important. If you have a hard heart, you can't serve anybody. When you have a soft heart, you want to serve someone and that's where compassion is going to come from. Now, Mara says ki, Satgur Dayanid, no, this is from Pai Gudasi. Pai Gudasi says ki, Satgur Dayanid. Mehma agad bodh namo 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 neet 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 hai. The my guru is the treasure of daya. Satguru daya nidh. He's a treasure of daya. So when we come to our guru and we do simran and we listen to him, actually we see that Guruji is full of daya for the world. And Guru Nandaji says, ki, I came here because Suni Pukar Datar Prabh Guru Nanak Jag Mahi Pathaya. That Wahiguru themselves heard the cries of the people of the earth and they sent Tanguna Deji to this world because he's come with that compassion to save people. And we're not trying to convert people to Sikhi. That's the beauty of our Sikhi. We're saying, be what you want. We're here to give you freedom, to give you justice, to give you uh, food, to protect you. That's what we're here for. And we've got this wisdom of Tanguru Granth Sahib Ji. And you can listen to that wisdom. You don't even have to become a Sikh to listen to that wisdom. You can stay a Muslim. You can stay a Christian. Just be a better person and connect to your Wahiguru. Maharaj says ki, 
The whole world is burning. Whichever way the world can be saved, let it be saved. It doesn't matter about making them all into Khalsas, making them all into Sikhs. That's not the important part. Let's just feed people, let's just serve them. That's what a Sikh is trying to do. Next, Maharaj Goski, Santok Thaprakya Jinsu. Now, there's two meanings of this. One is that coming from Daya, coming from Daya, we will get Santok. Once we get Daya and Taram, then we get some type, some type of contentment. And the suit means a Maryada. So we get a Maryada, we get some kind of way of living, some kind of discipline. When we in, put that discipline in, we stay content in that discipline. So we can understand that actually, one way of understanding the whole world is that if we don't have contentment, the world will go out of order. At the moment, the order is established through contentment. When there's no contentment, the world will go out of order. And if you look at our world now, we can see there's no contentment. People are not happy with what they have. That's why the world is going out of order. So Guru Sahib is saying, when you have daya and taram, then you will have some contentment. And contentment will keep the world in order. But also, order for us as a Sikh is that Sikhi Maryada, the way of living, getting up in the morning, doing our part, coming to Gurdwara, like we just talked about, listen to Katha Kirtan, that keeps us content. It keeps us in a set order. It doesn't let us go off here and there. And there's some, that keeps us actually attached to our Guru. Our Rehat keeps us. We don't keep the Rehat. Initially we keep the Rehat. When something goes wrong, our Rehat keeps us. It keeps us content. Calm down. Relax. Stay calm. And Gurmat is all about self-regulation. It's not about some massive amounts of rules. If you look at the Sikh Rehat Maryada, it's a very small booklet. We haven't got some 10, 15, 30, 100 scholars out there who are arguing about the Sikhi Rehat. We've only got this one booklet, tiny little booklet. And the whole of the Rehat Maryada is like this tiny little booklet. If you went to any other religious uh, library and said, give me your books on religious law, they'll take you to a library and there'll be shelves and shelves of books. And all we got is this one booklet. And you can imagine why, it's about self-regulation. It's about main understanding how you should live as a person. And Mara says in one line, even the person, sorry, we haven't got that much time now. One Mara says, Haka paraya nanaka us sur us gai. That for us, even eating somebody else's food is for a Muslim to have pork and for a Hindu to have beef. So for us, the most important thing is to be content. Be content with what we have. Don't ever steal from somebody else and stay in this. We haven't got time that much now. We've got about 15 minutes left. What we're going to do is sing this body. And the next week, we'll go to the rest of it. Because Paisa has prepared it. So we'll just sing the rest of it. And next week, we'll go to the Qatar of the rest of this body. And it's amazing. I see Paisa, he's learning the Rabab. You know, Gunadeji, this is Gunadeji's body we're reading. And Gunadeji traveled whenever he went. He went with the Rababi, Madonna. This beautiful instrument that we've got is much more complex than just a guitar. We've got it in Sikhi. This is what Pai Madonna Ji would have been playing when Gunan Dev Ji was singing. So, in fact, some of us haven't seen it that often. So it's beautiful that we have it here. Oh. 
शोक छाप रखिया छिन सूज chosen because in many ways sarpanch are the leaders of a pin in sikhi the panch pyare are supposed to be our leaders it's all about the panch pyare it's all about the khalsa panth in fact the sikh are the sikh and the guru khalsa is the guru in one way you can see that the rehmana tells us that the sikh is somebody who accepts guruji who accepts the writings of the guruji and ex- accepts one bahi guru and accepts that the amrit is important but the khalsa is part of the guru's body and we can understand that that khalsa if they live the sunnia and the mania not just by taking amrit if they drink in the internal amrit as well if they live in that way they get enlightened those people mara says ki panch parvan panch pardhan panche pave darge himan pancha hai so ho hai tar rajan pancha ka gur ek dhyan they just focus on their guru all of us if we can <coughs> learn from the first part of this body the thing for us is just to stick to our guru stick like glue to our guru whatever happens doesn't matter stick to our guru our guru is going to guide us when we see things that happen what happened in america the first thing we should do 
is ask our Guru, what do you think? People got died, killed in the Gurdwara, but not many people took Hukum Nami straight away. The focus should be ask Guru what they thought. And I'll give you a share of Hukum Nama that was taken by someone. And this is the Hukum Nama, Mara says, Ki, listen, if you want to talk about what happened in America, the Hukum Nama said, Ki, Kabir, Ja Din Homua, Pache Pai Anand. Mohi Milo Prab Apana, Sangi Paje Gobind. On the day that I die, imagine this is the Hukum Nama that came. It's a cyber Hukum Nama, okay, fair enough. But still, Guruji works in mysterious ways. Ask Guruji, what should we do about these six people that died? Mara says, Ki, on the day that I die, there will be bliss. After me, there will be bliss. Pache Pei Anand. When he leaves, he's not going to be going crying. He's going to be going laughing in Anand. He goes, I will meet my Vahe Guru. Mohe Milo Prabha Apana Sangi Paje Gobind. Everybody with me will meditate upon Vahe Guru. So actually what, he's, what they would have said there is, Chalo, they passed away, their line has come to an end. But what should we do? Celebrate their life. Live in Anand. At the end of every Pog, actually we read Anand Sahib. Say, Chalo, it's Anand. Because human life is not as important as the spiritual life that we lead. There's a great quote. Somebody said, you are not a body. You're not a person. You're a soul. You have a body. You're not a body. You have a body. But you are the soul. So next week we'll go into why Maharaj talks about a little bit more about the world and how it's structured and he tells us how we should live, how we can accept Wahai Guru's hukam in this life. But for this time, we'll cut it short there and obviously I must have made loads of mistakes um, and all of this will be on YouTube so you can find, them, find my mistakes on YouTube and tell me what mistakes I made. But let's, uh, we'll carry on with it next week. Please forgive me for my mistakes. And they also didn't see Sariya, Jo Bobe, Sahib Sumi. Wahi Guruji Ka Khansa, Wahi Guruji Ki Khansa.